Thank you, Jesus. You reign above it all. You are the Alpha and the Omega. We exalt your holy name. In this moment, oh God, we, we worship you. We lift up your holy name to say that indeed you're above it all, oh God. All, all honor, all glory belongs to you, Jesus. So you be exalted. your name for this is a day you have made of going to rejoice and be glad in it. Father, we bless you, worship you, we welcome your presence. Holy Spirit, have your way in our lives. Have your way, mighty God, we welcome your presence in the name of Jesus. Mighty God, want to pray as we listen to your word today. If there's someone who's discouraged now, we speak to their spirit to be lifted up. We speak encouragement in Jesus' name. Mighty God, we declare your presence upon their homes in Jesus' name. I speak hope. I speak power of the Holy Spirit upon their lives. In Jesus Christ's name, pray and believe. Amen. Good morning. This is the day the Lord has made. We're going to rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you for joining us to our prayer devotion. This week, our focus has been power of the Holy Spirit in our moments of weakness. Day one, our focus was on goodness. Day two was on faithfulness. Day three was on gentleness. Day four was on self-control. And today, the five is the power to witness. I want us to turn our Bibles to Acts chapter 1, verse 8. Acts chapter 1, verse 8. The Bible says, But you receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you be my witnesses in Jerusalem in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. Today our focus is on the power to witness. Just like a car to move from point A to B, it needs fuel. The fuel in the car gives it power to move. So you as a believer, God promised us the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit was not so that we may feel good about ourselves when it comes upon us. The major purpose and primary focus of the Holy Spirit is to witness 
about Jesus Christ. Jesus speaking to the disciples, he told them, tarry in Jerusalem until you receive power. And they waited in Jerusalem. And the Bible says in Acts chapter 1 verse 8 again, but you receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And you'll be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. The, mari- the primary purpose of the baptism in the Spirit is to provide power to communicate the message of Jesus to others. The purpose of the baptism is to receive power to deliver the message that those who do not have a personal relationship with God can receive his forgiveness, learn to follow Jesus and fulfill his purpose for their life. The end result is that more people come to know, love, and honor Jesus as Lord, the leader and authority in their lives. We have a great commission to share the good news. People are dying every day. And if, have never, and if they have never given their life to Jesus Christ, there's no way they'll get to heaven. And for you and I, the reason God gave us the Holy Spirit, baptized us in the Holy Spirit, so that we can be witnesses about Jesus Christ. I want us to turn also to John chapter 15, verse 16. John chapter 15, verse 16. The Bible says in John chapter 15, verse 16, You do not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit and that your fruit should abide so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, it may give it to you. Jesus is saying, you do not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit and that your fruit should abide. So that whatever I ask the Father in my name, he may give it to you. So today I want us to pray for the power of the Holy Spirit to be released upon our lives. If you have never given your, your life to Jesus Christ, I would encourage you to give your life to Christ. I want to pray for you, for those who are not born again, to give your life to Christ. And for those who are born again and the desire to be baptized in the Holy Spirit, this morning we are going to pray that the Holy Spirit will fill you so that you can be champions, you can be witnesses, you can be ambassadors who are going to go and share the good news of Jesus Christ. Let us pray for those who have never given their life to Christ. I want you to say this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I give you my life. I am a sinner. I confess of every sin in my life. Add my name in the Lamb's book of life. Jesus Christ, fill me with the Holy Spirit. In Jesus Christ's name, pray and believe. Amen. And for those who desire the baptism in the Holy Spirit, I would encourage you to seek Jesus. Jesus is the one who baptized in the Holy Spirit. Ask him. Bible says, ask and shall be given to you. Seek and shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened to you. Jesus desires to baptize you in the Holy Spirit. I would encourage you to open your heart to God. So let us pray. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you Forgive me my sins. I desire 
Your baptism in the Holy Spirit. Fill me with the Holy Spirit. In Jesus Christ's name I pray. Amen. Father, I want to pray for those who desire a, refill, a filling of the Holy Spirit in their lives. And even for those who desire revival in their lives. So that they can be witnesses of the good news. Of the great commission. Mighty God, we pray in the name of Jesus. For the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Upon the children. Upon the adults. Mighty God, may you fill them with the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for revival in Jesus' name. Lord, we want to pray for our churches in Kenya. That there will be a revival of the Holy Ghost. Pour your spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Mighty God, we pray for revival in the name of Jesus. Revival in the body of Christ in Kenya and around the world. That the church is going to arise and shine and share the good news and share the good news of the love of Jesus Christ. Lord, we want to confess our slumber where we've been slack in sharing the good news. Forgive us, O oh God. Want to pray, O oh God, revive us as a church. The church around the world, that we're going to arise and shine. We're going to arise and share the good news. Where we have allowed fear to take over, we ask you for mercy. We pray that to be baptized afresh with the Holy Ghost, that we're going to share the good news. In Jesus Christ's name, pain, belief, amen. God bless you. Have a blessed day. I would encourage you, arise and shine and share the good news. God bless you. Oh, you're worthy, Jesus. The reign of darkness now has ended. the king